Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 178. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. All left, because I say all right too much. Uh, we're going to start with, <laughs> that was a terrible joke. Uh, we're going to start with the Class D World Championship now. Uh, this one now has four races. So we've got uh, Sebring, then Circuit de Catalunya, Sedona, and then Silverstone. Let's get going. All right, I've actually got car audio now. Electric turn. Oh, fair enough. But to be fair, the easiest way to get rid of turbo lag is to use supercharger. That's the point of the supercharger. The supercharger just offers that power, but across the whole band, rather than just... But to be fair, if it's electrically operated, I assume it just... Beep beep, motherfucker, get out the way! Not bad. No worries, right? Well, I appreciate you lurking in the chat. Appreciate it. Sylvia looks amazing. My nose is itching. I got an itchy nose. I got an itchy nose. Remove the nose and then no itchy nose. Uh oh. Uh oh. Itchy nose gone. I got your nose. I got your itchy nose. <laughs> oh, that's fucking terrible. Do you know the one thing I don't understand about the Sylvia? Is why the hell there's a red light in the window? Right, because the purpose of that light is the fact that there's laws that state that you need to have a light on the top of the car basically right 
There needs to be a light that's higher up. But then there's also a light on the wing as well. Which is higher than that light. And on top of that, there's a spoke right in the middle that blocks the red light in the window. What is the point in the light in the window? That confuses me. The light in the window isn't necessary. You have the light on the wing. They've just added that light there for zero reason whatsoever. Oh look, I can add a light to this car. Let's do it. It's there to be fancy. Exactly. That's all it's there for. There isn't actual practicality to it, or any laws, or anything like that, it's just there. It's an excuse to charge an extra 500 quid on it. It's pretty much how the car industry is nowadays. The funny thing is, you'd actually be able to somewhat afford a car like this. Like, if you saved up, saved some money back in the 90s, you could afford a car like this. You try and save some money now, You'd struggle to even afford a Tesla. Like, the way that fucking anything is today. Is there in case you buy a spoilerless one? Ah, that's a fair shout. That makes more sense. But then, if, if that was the option, then why not put the light towards the top and then just not have the light on the rear wing? Or maybe they put the light on the rear wing because it obscures the light in the window, but then they just forgot to remove the light in the window. Which all of it means that they dumb fucked up. It's dumb shit. <laughs> you stupid. You're asking 20 years too late, I know. <laughs> I'm asking the questions that no one wants to ask. If you guys are enjoying the stream, feel free to uh, share it out. If you're enjoying the video as well, again, feel free to share it out. Uh, drop a like, as that helps the algorithm to recommend it to more people. You ever notice when you're watching videos on YouTube that it says, viewers of such and such channel also likes this channel, and it will recommend videos? That's what happens when you like videos. If you like a lot of these videos, YouTube will start recommending it to other people that watch videos that you watch. It, they put the pieces together and it works really, really well. But it means you gotta like the content first. So yeah, if you wanna help support the channel, drop a like. <laughs> All right, race numero dos. I can't believe we're getting to the end of um, <coughs> Motorsport 3. We're almost finished. What the hell's happened to that TV? Someone smeared Vaseline on the lens. <laughs> oh, that's great. That was such a good Top Gear episode. I love the police car one. You smeared Vaseline on the lens. They couldn't see it. <laughs> Top Gear was such a good show. Old Top Gear, such a good show. 
I'd love to see Top Gear make a return. Love to see it. I think it would be hilarious to have people of like a similar nature to Clarkson, Hammond and May. Like get a trio that has that similar I don't know, chemistry. But they don't. They they're not picking the right people for it. This is a chew. I want to try and get, um, what's it called? All of the Guitar Hero Alive, because this song was on Guitar Hero Alive. I want to get all the songs on Clone Hero and play them on Clone Hero. But I need to get one of those USB dongles that turns it into a 360 controller. Because I've bought two of them, and I've lost two of them. I don't know where they are. So I need another one. <laughs> That's just for the stuff just got back. <laughs> so Zeno, now you can see some of the uh, archived streams. In an archived series. As part of the uh, silver tier. <laughs> Uh, very much pog. Pog jump. Poggers. Mm, my friend. Yeah, Pog Jam should be stolen. To be fair, Twitch got rid of it. They don't want it. They don't want nothing to do with it, so. Tough shit. Though I think the mech pog is the best. I still can't. I need to find where the mech pog's gone. Because I couldn't find it on my PC. And if I've lost mech pog, I'm going to be very sad. Because mech pog is. It's pog. If I've lost Mech Pog, I've lost life. I've got the what emote though. So if you type in W U T, uh, it should auto convert it. If it doesn't, there's like a emoji button that you can actually load up the emojis. Members exclusive though. Get the emo emoji. Emoji. <laughs> All I want is a Big Mac from you. Oh my god. Make what? What? <laughs> That's brilliant. out of 10 emotes. I know, they're brilliant. That's fucking great.
Oh god. <laughs> oh, I was trying to pull a face and then just... Lovely. Charming. Honestly, I'm loving streaming on YouTube a million times more than streaming on Twitch. The only thing I don't enjoy is the uh, spam of emails that I get every single time. I've blocked, um, what's it called? I get YouTube copyright emails, but I've deliberately set it so it goes to a different folder that doesn't have notifications. So as soon as I get sent an email, it goes straight into YouTube copyright folder. Um, and I can then just check it. And if anything is out of the ordinary, I can obviously go, oh, okay. I'll have a look at that. Um, but anything that mentions copyright in an email from YouTube, it just goes straight to another folder and I don't get notified. Because when I when I finished the 12 hour stream that I ended up doing, uh, it's 14 hours, but YouTube says 12. Um, I got, I can't remember, it was like fucking 70 emails in the space of about five minutes. That was a lot of emails. I think Coca-Cola is worse than Pepsi. 100%. But I'm not a fan of Diet Pepsi, and I'm not a fan of Full Pepsi. So, Coke is better, except that Coke Zero is absolute dog shit. Because Pepsi Max is just on another level. Like, Pepsi Max... Compared to, like, regular Pepsi or Diet Pepsi... Dog shit. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. A Bepis versus Coke Cold War. <laughs> Yo, I actually want to play some Ghost Recon tonight. I know why I've got this craving to play Ghost Recon. Cause the I shitted on Breakpoint when it came out. But I don't think it's actually that bad. I just think Wildlands was just phenomenally good. And I think it's similar with Horizon 4. We all shitted on Horizon 4, but now that Horizon 5's out. And Horizon 5 is actually dreadful. I think it was the fact that Horizon 4 was just a bit worse than Horizon 3. But it's actually an alright game to go back to and play. Oh, I love this song. Fucking Darren Styles. Do you know what? I might just put Darren Styles on for an hour. Because Darren Styles is fucking hype. This is happy hardcore. Shit. How damaged is a car? 
Oh, that's not too bad. So, cosmetically, the front is destroyed, but there's no damage to it, apparently. Right, if I can win this after doing that 720, I'm goaded. I'm the best in the world. <laughs> Yo, Pine, what up? How are you today? I appreciate the compliments. Appreciate it, man. Do you know those F85 no effort drag strips that does like... Oh, yeah, those ticks, those ticks, yeah, I get what you mean. They'll just sit there, they'll do some spins or whatnot, and then it's... Right, I'll go now. And then they cross the finish line. I, I'm 99% sure that they just and spins until they get very close to not doing it because there's no way in hell that you can just I, they're not one take but they are just like easy to make super easy to make there was one as well that had like andrew tate's theme tune along with like a um bronze bugatti and he just kept doing the same thing over and over again with this Bugatti and then Andrew Tate's music. I was getting bare views. He was getting so many views, it was unreal. Like, imagine exploiting the algorithm. It, uh, yeah, it, uh, they'd obviously have the easy drive guitar difficulty as well. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying the stream, feel free to uh, drop a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm. And feel free to share the stream out as well. I don't need nobody, don't need no one, that's no good for me, you're no good for me, I don't need nobody, don't need no one, that's no good for me, you're no good for me, I don't need nobody, don't need no one, that's no good for me. This is a hype song. This is a hype song. 100 million percent this is a hype song. I don't need nobody, don't need no one. That's no good for me. I don't need nobody. <laughs> Mech hype when? Take a screenshot at any point. <laughs> I need like a cat jam. But like mech jam. YouTube doesn't have animated emotes. I forgot about that one. It'd be seconded by 37 seconds. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Yeah, good thing I don't get put in races with you, Zeno. Otherwise, I probably would dive bomb and crash you out every corner. 100%. I'd be like, bong, bong. get off the track. I want to win one. It's my turn to win. <laughs> oh. I will literally do exactly what I did in the R3 and R2 endurance races. For anyone who didn't 
see those ones, uh, the R3 and the R2 races, I got very close to losing and I kept crashing into the cars to try and bump them off so that I could win because I didn't want to redo the races. Like, they were long, long races. So, I think I was well within my right to crash into them. All right, here we go. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you get notified of all the streams. Can't forget that one. It's really weird that I, some of the songs that I love are just older than me and it blows my mind. Jokes on you. I'm already subscribed. Hey. That's no good for me. I actually need to do all of the sound alerts for like su subscribing and members and whatnot. I need to get all those sorted out, but I don't know what sounds I'm going to do. I'm tempted to do that because uh, I've got a meme stuck in my head at the moment. I want to do that uh, goofy singing Evanescence meme. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. I can't wake up. <laughs> wake me up inside. Save me. <laughs> That's such a great one. Or I'll just have my follow notification as I like to play with my penis. Because that's funny as well. <laughs> I think I can get away with turning. <laughs> I woke up in a new Bugatti. No. Oh, I've just accidentally loaded up DS4 Windows. No, please go away, DS for Windows. I don't want you. DS for Windows is like that adopted child you don't want. By the way, let me know if uh, the music is now too loud on stream. I just want to turn it up a bit so that I can hear it a little bit better. Oh, come on, move out of the way. Beep, beep. Coming through. I'm in a Sylvia. I was about to say Sylvia, but that was the last one. Not this one. Get out alive. Where we make it out. We've been doing this is dark ages. Fast paces. Taking rock and metal, throwing drum and bass in. It really sucks. So, the one thing that I hate, right? There are... When you look at, for example, Guitar Hero 3. It's a great example. There are quite a few bands on there where their last albums or their last songs were basically put on the game. 
Right, so for example, Matchbook Romance, they pretty much stopped making music as that game came out. They haven't made a single song since. Um, oh, don't hold back. The Sleeping. The Sleeping hasn't made an album since, I think, 2009, maybe 2010. So pretty much as soon as that game came out. And obviously that... Fair enough, that happens, but back then, it was difficult to make music. Correct. 100%. It was difficult to make music that you'd sit there and try and distribute it. Uh, it was difficult. Now we're in an era that people can literally find your music like that, and if they like it, can follow every single song you have like that, it can get put on playlists like that and get to so many people like that it's so easy so to see bands like for example Nero that hasn't made music in eight years not make music um, Pendulum not make music for ten years okay yeah they made an EP but again ten years without music um, fucking trying to think of another good example the actual example that I was thinking of fucking the chemists what we were listening to a second ago haven't made an album or a song since 2019 again why it's an era where you can actually get a lot of money from making music especially if people make content on YouTube and have your song in it you can steal all their revenue. Like, as a music creator, it's a no-brainer as to why you wouldn't do it. Before, you get paid for your music to be put on something, but they probably screw you out of it, give you, say, a hundred quid to use it in an advert, and the advert would earn them millions. For example, Now it's a lot more difficult to get away with that. So why don't they make music? Obviously music creators just can't be asked. Like a lot of them just can't be asked. I know it's difficult to make music, but if you're talented enough to make music back then, you're still talented to make music now. Like, again, I don't get it. It makes no sense to me. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.